Hello again, a very warm welcome to you all. My name is Denny Kay and I'm here today with a bottle of Beaumont. This was independently bottled by the whiskeybarrel.com. It was distilled in 2002, spent 17 years maturing in a first fill Oloroso hogshead, then bottled in 2020 at natural cask strength of 54.6% to commemorate the 51st anniversary of the moon landing. Yes, 51st, a rather odd number, however, Fortunate for us because the whiskey is absolutely smashing. Now, when it first came out, it came out on the whiskeybarrel.com and it actually came out a couple hours earlier. It was a maximum of two bottles per person, then was reduced to only one bottle per person. Now, fortunately, I jumped on nice and early. I was able to get myself a second bottle of this and um, rather fortunate for me because this one has lasted me quite some time, but almost coming to an end. Now, I'll give you a bit of a close-up of the label itself. Um, there's a bit of a write-up on the back, including the tasting notes, but to be quite honest, the tasting notes are really just some um, creative writing. Now, I did say natural cask strength, natural color, non-chilt filtered, and the natural color on this, I'll tell you what, rather dark, I'd call this a dark amber too. If you'd accept this as a color, a light color. <laughs> now, um, I'll talk about colour in a moment. Beaumont, rather old distillery, founded in 1779, making it one of the oldest distilleries in the world and absolutely one of the oldest Scotch whisky distilleries in the world. The nose has changed a tiny bit from when I first opened it because when I first opened this bottle, the smoke was a little more pronounced and that has settled, allowing some of the fruits to come through. The fruits that come through are some dried fruits your typical dried fruits that you would expect to find in a sherry bomb like this, which are your raisins and also your prunes, along with a lot of dark berries and also some dark berry compote. The thing that I love in this is there is a fantastic whack of menthol and I love finding that in whiskey, along with some chocolate. The chocolate is some milk chocolate, along with some bitter chocolate and also some beef stock. There is a touch of saltiness in here, which you could call a sea spray or a seashell, and I'm really, really digging it. The smoke is just an underlying smoke, but there is quite a bit going on, and it is a fantastic nose. Arrival is drying with some pepper. Now, You'll notice that on the nose, I did not say that there was any spice whatsoever because there isn't, but there is rather significant whack of pepper there, along with, as I mentioned, some of that smoke, it's a dry, ashy smoke, and then some of the fruits. Dried fruits to come through, along with the berries that I mentioned earlier, some nuts there as well, walnut, hazelnut, menthol is still there, and it is a rather lengthy finish. The lengthy finish is still drying with that black pepper that is there, right? There's still a touch of salt, which is fantastic there. Now it's 54.6%, so I will add a couple of drops of water in this. Maybe one more, okay. Now, what I was actually going to say earlier in terms of color, yes, it is a very dark color, it is a very attractive color, I know and I hear this all the time. And I do agree that color is not everything, but I will also say when any punter sees a dark natural color like that, what do they say? Wow, look at the color on that. So yes, I do agree that color isn't everything, but it is a very, um, a very lovely, dark, attractive um, color. And what I will say further to that is that it is becoming increasingly harder to find a dark or even just a sherry Beaumont that has been independently bottled, unless uh, there were some recent limited editions and distillery exclusives, but they're very, very difficult um, to actually purchase one of those. So a lot of the independently bottled Beaumonts that are coming out now that I'm seeing, are, I would probably say 80% of them are bourbon. Um, Nothing wrong with that, but as I said, dark color, sherry Beaumont, 
obviously people are going to find it quite interesting. This was only limited to 270 bottles. Now what I'm getting is the nuts that come through. I mentioned earlier on, I said walnut and also some hazelnut. The bitter chocolate is absolutely front and center at the moment, which is fantastic. Still, um, some of the menthol. What I'm not getting is any spice whatsoever and also the, the smoke has really um, died down as well, settled with the water. Fantastic nose, absolutely fantastic. It's lovely with the water, but it doesn't need too much. It does really settle the spice a bit. And now it, it absolutely allows some of the sweeter notes that come through. The bit of chocolate is absolutely front and center there. But now what I'm also getting is I'm getting some balsamico, which I'm absolutely loving. Menthol, yes, absolutely. It is still drying. There is still some pepper that lingers through there to the finish. There is still a little bit of salt that comes through too. So there's quite a bit going on with this. You are really getting um, everything that you can ask for in terms of you know, the smoke is there, sweetness, a little bit of that um, saltiness that comes through, also some of that pepper spice. So it is a rather well um, put together, I guess you could say, whiskey. But we know that of the distillery, the cask was obviously a very good cask. So I think this one has been an absolute tick for them. I've tried one or two of the other series that they released um, alongside with this, either before or after it, and it didn't quite hit the mark like this has, because this for me is a solid nine out of 10. Unfortunately, only limited to 270 bottles. And to buy it now on the secondary market, the price has absolutely flown. That's quite simply just the way that it goes with these. I'll leave it there. As I said, fantastic whiskey. Appreciate the time very, very much. So thank you very much for watching. Cheers to you. Till next time.